Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe. And I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture program. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're doing well. It's a brisk late winter, early spring day here in Chicago. I hope the weather's great where you're at. Today, we are going to look at using Lumion to create a VR image. What is a VR image? Well, VR stands for virtual reality, and it's what you have here. So it's a, it's a way to generate a 360-degree panorama that can be used, like I'm showing here, just in a browser window, and I'm just clicking and spinning around, but it can also be used in virtual reality goggles or VR goggles. All right, before we jump into it, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Search me up on YouTube, Alfonso Peluso, click on the subscribe button, click on the down arrow to receive all the notifications. I'm on my way to 14,000 subscribers. Help me get there. If you are looking for something in digital design, a digital design tutorial from AI to 3D rendering to 3D modeling to parametric modeling, this channel is for you. There's something here for everyone. Also, follow me on Instagram. Lately, I've been making a lot of videos to help architecture students along on their journey, and they've been really well received. I recently hit 10,000 followers, so I'm on my way to 11,000 followers. Help me get there. That will be a great milestone. All right, back to Lumion VR. All right, here I have a simple file set up with a little cottage house in a winter scene. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus our VRs on the interior. So we have to get into the building. So here we are kind of getting into the middle, kind of the middle portion of the building here. So this isn't our camera. We, we're going to set that up by going into 360 panels, but I just want to get close, get close to where I want to take this panel. And I'm going to go ahead and in the lower right, I'm going to click on 360 panel. All right, so that brings me into 360 panel. And I can start here with this image that we just went inside and set up. I'm going to take my effect stack from my one of my previous images, and I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to end up pasting it into here. So here I want to make what you see on the screen here where my cursor is moving around. I want to make that my panel view. So I'm going to click on store camera. And it's going to store that camera, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste in my effect stack. All right, so that gets that looking uh, a little nicer. It's got the volumetric lights, which I really like. So I think this is a pretty good view. Um, I'm going to lower my camera view just a little bit, just so that you can see that. You can lower it or higher it. Higher it. <laughs> you can lower it or make it higher. So this is what it looks like at one one meter, so a nice low kind of dramatic perspective camera. And I'm going to update, I'm going to click on the snapshot to, to store that because I moved that camera around. All right, so we have our panel, so that was pretty quick to set up. So now we're going to go to export. So I'm going to go to render 360 panel. You can do it here with uh, where my cursor is, or you can go over here and render all 360 panels. I'm just going to render this one out. So I'm going to click on that on that middle button. And we're brought to this screen. So for output quality, you should definitely use production quality. You want to keep that at the highest quality. Then there's stereoscopic. If I click that on, that's stereoscopic. If I uncheck it, it's monoscopic. So stereoscopic is an output where it outputs in Basically, I'll call them channels, two channels, a left channel and a right channel. And that's for VR goggles. So you can have something on the left eye and something on the right eye. 
that is something you want to decide whether or not you want to do. If you're looking to output the VR goggles, you can click stereoscopic on. Just be warned, it's going to take a long time to render. And then monoscopic is maybe you want to view it on your phone, maybe in a cardboard goggle like you've seen around, I'm sure, on the internet. And then the projection type, we're going to use equirectangular projection, which is it's an unrolled, it's a sphere unrolled. So if you've ever seen a map view, a 2D map view of the Earth that's unrolled, that's equirectangular. And Cubic just makes four, four different um, projections, left, right, up, down, front, and back. So we're going to keep it at equirectangular. And then you have a choice for resolution. You can choose medium resolution or large resolution. For this tutorial, I'm just going to choose medium. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that and then give it a place to save it. I'm going to save it as a PNG file. And once you tell it where to save it and give it a name, it will start generating that 360 panel. So we'll let this go for a little bit. All right, so that took several minutes, five minutes, 26 seconds to be exact. All right, so just looking at this image, this unrolled image, a monoscopic image is um, basically six, six images. You'll see six parts to the images, six parts to the image. So maybe one, two, three, four, five, and six. A stereoscopic will have 12 parts to the image. All right, so what to do with this image? All right, I'm on my way to make that video. So you'll see a link to that in the description and at the end of this video. All right, thanks for watching. My head's going to pop up in the upper left. If you haven't subscribed, please click on that and subscribe, and I'll put some reference videos in the upper right and the lower right. All right, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one.